you rise for the order of matins on page 219. O oh Lord, open my lips. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. remembered its steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God.
let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity.
reading from St. John's Gospel from the 15th chapter. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one greater love has no one than this, that someone lays down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. These things I command you, so that you will love one another. O oh Lord, have mercy on us. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim his salvation from day to day. Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that sleep. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father, and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. There are three things that Jesus is trying to teach us in the gospel lesson for today. The first is that he has called us into the kingdom of God. This was his doing and not ours. Secondly, that we are to abide in Christ and so bear fruits in keeping with his kingdom. And finally, that we may have joy in a joyless world. That Christ has called us into his kingdom as his own doing is something that the Word of God teaches us in many places. When we come into the world, we all come into it in the same way, spiritually blind and dead. As we have learned so many times this year, we do not as sinners possess the righteousness of God, which means we do not fear, love, and trust in God. These are all things that are contrary to every single person who's brought forth into the world in a natural way. And we see this truth reaffirmed every single day. This is why the world is so broken, angry, vengeful, and distressed. People are not good. They are sinners who desire the things of a corrupted heart instead of the things of God. And if it were not for the Lord breaking into the world to change the hearts and minds of people by giving them a new nature, there would only be chaos, hurt, and despair. And sadly, that is what so many in our world live in day to day. But for us, this is not the case. For us, a light has dawned in the midst of such terrible darkness. And the light is the life of Christ. He came into the world to find sinners just like us and call us out of the kingdom of the devil and the world into his own kingdom. We didn't go looking for this on our own. 
We didn't find it by human ingenuity and willpower. It was simply brought to us because of God's own desire to save us. This is the kingdom that has come into the world with the coming of the Christ. A kingdom founded upon the forgiveness of sins merited in the righteous life of Christ, which kept the law of God, as we should have, and also in his sacrificial death, which we deserve to die, but which he has undergone in our place. He lived for us, and he died for us that we might know the righteousness of God, which is not ours by birth, at least birth naturally into the world. This righteousness he has given to us as his people, a righteousness that has called us into the kingdom of God as the baptized children of God, forgiven us of our sins in the proclamation of God's mercy and grace upon us, and covered us with the body and blood of that sacrificial lamb once given for us cross. Just as all of us here today were once lost and condemned equally in our sin, so have we all been saved from the sin and death we deserve. All because God has loved us and given himself for us. There is a result to this wonderful righteousness we have received as well. And it's not only the, the promise of eternal life on the last day. It's also that we will be given the great privilege of living as God's people in this life. This is why Jesus says that we will bear fruit in keeping with the kingdom of God into which we have been called. As those who have been given a new life from above in Christ, we really do truly live in God once again. What this means is that unlike the world that is dying in sin, we are living in the righteousness of God. That new Adam given to us through the water and the word is given that we might begin in this life to reflect the life that God intended us to live from the foundation of the world. For this reason, that new Adam in us, because it has life in God, will seek to live in the things of God. That's why Christians treasure the word of God. Even memorizing it, as we have done this year, right? The Ten Commandments, the Lord's Prayer, the words instituting baptism and the Lord's Supper, and so forth. We seek with the help of God as a new creature in Christ to live daily according to his words. We seek to actually keep the Ten Commandments, not to merit our righteousness, but because it's pleasing to our Lord. We pray to him with all boldness and confidence because he is our heavenly father on account of the mercy he has shown us in Christ. We remember our baptism as the calling into the kingdom of God that it is. And finally, returning always as repentant sinners to that fount of grace in the forgiveness of our sins in Christ. These are all things that the ungodly will never know unless they too are called into his kingdom and incorporated into the body of Christ. The world and its people think they are truly living, but all their happiness and all their so-called joys are not leading to true life. They're keeping them in sin, selfishness, and finally death. True joy is not found in the things of the world because none of those things will last. The only things that are going to last will be the treasures of Christ. Jesus promises today that his people may have true joy. True joy in the things that will last. It's not being wealthy or powerful. It's not having the great status among your peers or the most prestige in the world. Real joy is found in Christ. It is found in being a child of God with gifts that transcend the vanity of the world. And you're going to be tempted to scoff at those gifts. The world will mock them as meaningless and empty. But it mocks what it does not know. You are the richest of all people. And the true joy that surpasses all understanding is set before you because you are loved by God. 
You are his child for whom he has died. You have been given new life not to conform to the world and its false narratives, but that has set you free to live life in the life of the Son of God. That is why your joy may be full. Because you no longer conform to a world that is passing away, but to a kingdom that is going to last forever. A kingdom of which you are all equally a part, now and forevermore. You are called, you are forgiven, and you are to love one another. All that show your joy may be full. In the name of Jesus, amen. We rise to sing the canticle on page 223.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Our prayer person for today is Mr. Merritt, our high school teacher and principal. O God, the giver of all that is good, by your holy inspiration, grant that we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding, accomplish them. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, even as you have committed the care and nurture of children to your people, Graciously enlighten those who teach and those who are committed to their instruction, that they may know your eternal truth and trust in you all the days of their lives. We especially commend to you today, Mr. Merritt, our high school principal. We give you thanks for the gift of teaching that you have blessed him with, the great honor that it is bestowed upon him to enlighten the hearts and minds of our high school students. We ask that you would continue to be with him, that you would guard his heart and mind in Christ, that you would lead and guide him all the days of his life in the paths of the righteousness to the glory of your holy name, and that at his last he may with all your saints in heaven see you face to face in the glorious splendor of the righteousness of Christ. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. O Lord, our heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you have safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings, being ordered by your governance, may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.